at let's get it. So I interviewed Charleston White recently. And, and the crackhead. I, I remember the first time I talked to you and I mentioned Charleston White, I thought there was a synergy where I felt like, you know, I remember when I did it, whether it was a war in Chirac or I spoke about a certain type of shit that happened in the streets, people would be like, well, act, you're not in the streets. So, like, like y- y- your perspective is kind of thin. And I always said that, you know, I think Charleston White, who's been someone who's been incarcerated at a point in his life, and also you, somebody who's hold actually on, hold on, hold on. been there, you guys got more. L- you talking about this nigga right here, right? The camera's on it? You talking about that nigga? Ooh, what was, what was that? You talking about this nigga? I don't know what that is. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what that is. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about this nigga? Nah, I don't know. I don't Charleston know. White. I don't know where that's, that's from. Charleston. You talking about this? You talking about this nigga? Chew? That's Charleston Chu. That's you talking about this nigga? Chill out, man. You talking about this nigga? Chill out. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, hold up. Wait, look, press, press play. <laughs> look, look, press play. Look, 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 look. Issues like that. Look, look, look. What that nigga doing? He humping the bed. He's saving the children. No, he's saving the children. Wait, hold on. Let, let, you talk about the nigga that's saving the children. I want to see it. I can't see it. No, no, no. No, act, act. I see No, that's CGI. That's CGI. He love the kids. Nah, that's CGI. That's CGI. No, he love the kids, right? But hold on, though. No, he's the savior of the kids, right? But hold on, though. That's CGI. Wait, hold on, though. Yo, yo, yo. Hassan, Hassan. What the nigga saying? Hassan. There's a nigga humping the bed. The there nigga, was a point. Yo, he got a yo. He <laughs> might as well had a Susie. The nigga humping the bed. My whole thing is like this, right? Y'all were cool at one point. I helped promote the nigga until I saw certain things. Like what? First of all, I always leave a rope around every nigga that I know. This is how you know who your brother, who your brother ain't. When I meet niggas, the rope is already around yeah. your neck. Yeah. It's on you to hang yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I say that all the time. Yeah. Bro. I say you that hang time. yourself. I say that all With time. Charleston, I knew Charleston was a piece of shit. Why? He adopted my whole style and everybody else's. He took Tommy Sotomayor. He took Hassan Campbell. He took Kwame. He took everybody to make his own self that one piece that he wanted to be. Here's the thing, though, right? I never wavered on who I am to the point to where that people call me a rat. Because I started saying, my slogan became, lock him up. Nigga, you robbed that old senior citizen woman in that building? Lock that nigga up. I'm not accepting you robbing somebody 70 years old. You a piece of shit. Now, if that bitch a drug dealer, that's a problem. If you shoot a two-year-old child, I want you to go to jail. But here's the thing. I don't want to tell on you. Turn yourself in. Have some integrity. The niggas of my time, where I come from, if we got beef... We walked up on a nigga and said, hello, and it was over for you. Real niggas don't sit up there and shoot six and seven niggas that don't have nothing to do with you shot a basketball student that was the next NBA star, and you going back home partying with your niggas? I would turn myself in if I killed somebody's child innocently. That's just me. Who did that? Nobody did that. Here's the thing, nah, the old shit. school, yeah, listen, like that be the old school generation that I came from, the old school niggas that I came from, if you did things like that and the police put pressure on the hood, they would come knock on your door and tell you, and go you turn it. yourself yeah, in. Make you that's do it. That's go turn make yourself that's, in. That's the error of my pops. I want, from, they, they, they I want, I want like the rap. civilians to understand, y'all don't play by our rules. Yeah. If you tell on me, if I shot a two-year-old yep. by mistake, even though it was my mistake, I earned that. Yeah, yeah, I gotta right. wear that. Yeah, that's real right. Men that's have to be. Right. Yo, know, when you watch a samurai, you watch the last samurai, right? right. If the yeah. nigga lost a sword fight, he killed himself just because he lost a nigga he ain't like. Yeah, fell on his own sword. Where the, where's the integrity at? He fell on his own shit. Yeah, where's right. the integrity at? I don't want to see no camera on shit. Well, you know a nigga that kidnapped 35 females and killed them, and you talking about, I ain't snitching. Nigga, if you kill 35 of our women our com- out of our community, if we can't catch you and the police caught you, the whole community going to tell on you, nigga. You killed our mothers, our daughters, our sisters. This is not drug shit. This is not gang shit. You killed civilians. There's a difference. So we ain't gonna sit up there like, oh, I ain't telling on the, the serial killer that killed the two year old girl and he done raped her a thousand times. No, there's a difference. Grown men do grown shit. Real niggas that move real, 
We be laughing at the judge, and the judge be laughing at us too. Like they tell the judge to tell you when I was going to court, he said, "Look out that window. And see not, that tree right there? I don't see no tree, Yana." He said, "When you come home, there's gonna be a tree right there, damn. and that's they sarcasm. And the tree gonna be tall, nigga. You damn. on the sixth floor." <laughs> 